So my name is Deborah Payne. I'm the Director of Conservation at the Wild Fowl and Wetlands Trust in the UK. And it's a great pleasure to be here at the CMS COP in Quito. I'm here specifically looking at the poisonings resolution and a very specific area of interest is lead. It's a subject that I've worked on for over 30 years now and I'm particularly interested in lead poisoning of birds from ammunition sources. So lead gunshot and lead bullets kill a wide range of migratory birds and they do this in two different ways. Most lead gunshot actually falls onto the ground and wildfowl and other birds ingest this directly thinking it's either food or grit. It's then ground up and absorbed and as we all know lead is an extremely toxic metal so this causes a great deal of suffering and mortality in migratory birds. Uh, there's a second group of birds that's predatory and scavenging raptors and they ingest lead through their prey and that's largely things like um, game species like geese that are shot but not killed and quite a high proportion of some populations can be living but actually carry shot in the flesh so they can be predated by you know birds of prey migratory birds of prey and also quite a few game are shot but unretrieved and so scavengers can feed upon those so you get mortality of things like white-tailed eagles as well very, very large numbers of birds die of lead poisoning, and we've known about this issue for well over half a century. There's a huge amount of evidence. It's also an issue for human health. So one of the things that happens when you shoot migratory birds with lead, if they're eaten, if they make it into the food chain, the lead concentrations in that meat can be very high because lead gunshot fragments. You get tiny little invisible fragments. And that can present a risk to human health as well. So that's also an issue for the CMS because it's a side effect of shooting migratory species using lead. There have been various resolutions over the last 30 or 40 years to try and do something about this initially in wetlands, but this really is a global issue. It doesn't just affect wetlands, it affects all habitats, affects migratory species, contaminates the environment. And the great thing is there are easy solutions. There are alternatives to lead that are non-toxic, They've been widely available for a long time. And some EU countries, such as Denmark, banned the use of all lead gunshot as long ago as 18 years in 1996. They now wouldn't move back to lead. They use steel, which is of comparable price, is non-toxic, and in fact the number of hunters, if anything, has gone up in Denmark. So there is a solution, there are things that people can do. So here we're hoping that there is going to be a resolution that will call for a phase-out of lead ammunition within the next three years, and its replacement with non-toxic alternatives. That will benefit migratory birds massively, it will benefit people and it will benefit the environment.